So a while ago, I was searching on Wibby. I kind of put in a random search on Wibby. Dot me. And by the way, you can make your own instance now. So you can host your own instance of Wibby and manage your own. This is kind of the setup, which is really cool. So I was searched for total annihilation on here. And I came across, which one was it? Was it this one? Android Arts? No. Uh, do, 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 do. There was one. Which one did I click? Find more. Oh, this one, yes. So I found this site, and it's like, okay, this is cool. And then I went through dev stories, and I found Total Annihilation. And this is how I ended up on Ton of Clay. So Ton of Clay is actually the blog of, who was it again? Clayton Klauslarik. And he was actually the oh, head artist for Total Annihilation. And so he goes through his story in these blog posts about, start like, going through and putting together all the art for TA and starting with the team and everything. So he's actually got a whole section. Like this must be like his more popular one. This is like really old blog spot stuff, by the way, like again, back in 2006. So he goes through his story of like working on TA and the early art direction of it. And these are stuff that I'd never known about and art concepts that I've never seen before. And it was kind of cool to read through. I, I'll show you the image, like scroll through the images, but talks about the inspiration for it and everything. And I, I find these like stories from game developers and artists really cool because it's like, oh, that's where that came from. Oh, that's really cool. And it's really just kind of a history of like part of our culture because of video games, culture, that kind of a thing. <clears throat> and just the influences that even other media had on video games and the change that some video games took by innovating and are now standard in the industry. So what is if you go to tonofclay.blogspot.com you'll find it there it's like right in the sidebar here like that i've been clicking so this is was a really cool story to go through and to learn kind of about more of the ropes of like that game development particularly back in the day and how wild it was because i've already read um once upon atari and reading through this was like kind of like that, except it wasn't as much. Well, there was some, oh, outside like office culture to it, but this was also really cool to read through and see and hear about some of the stuff that happened, the goofy things that happened, the crazy late nights, the crazy like strings that were pulled to get things done. And if you want to hear another wild story about a game that possibly you enjoyed or a game that you can enjoy, I'd highly recommend going through this and just reading through it and just kind of getting some good story about it. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description discord gilded and what have you check those out and i will see you guys in the next one